We're just going to start off uh, by reviewing the uh, anatomy of the uh, structures of the abdomen, uh, because once uh, the sinologist is comfortable finding their way around the, the veins, arteries, uh, uh, and, and other structures, uh, it's much easier to uh, scan uh, specific indications with confidence. So by way of review, uh, usually we start in the transverse plane, and the first thing that we need to do is identify the vertebral body. Uh, which is seen here uh, as an inverted U-shape with characteristic posterior acoustic shadowing. Um, once this structure is found, it's a useful landmark for the sonologist because there's nothing really posterior to that that, that we're particularly interested in. And it also en enables us to identify uh, the, the two big vessels on either side of it anteriorly, uh, on the patient's left, the aorta, and the patient's right, the IVC. Uh, scanning in a uh, cephalad direction um, uh, is, is often useful just to start right under the diaphragm. And here we see the IVC actually disappearing into the, the heart here, uh, the right atrium. And then as we scan down again in the transverse plane, we see the hepatic veins emptying into the inferior vena cava. And scanning more inferiorly, quite soon we'll see the aorta starting to appear. Um, it's still above the diaphragm here. We're seeing it through the diaphragm. And then as we come down, we see the crura of the diaphragm on either side here. Um, and then progressing uh, steadily uh, in, in a chordad direction, uh, we find that the first vessel to arise from the aorta is the celiac axis right here. Uh, the celiac axis divides uh, into the, the common hepatic uh, artery and the splenic artery. And uh, this is characteristically described as a seagull sign, not particularly well seen uh, in this particular case. Uh, the hepatic artery uh, heads uh, uh, to the patient's right towards the porta hepatis over here. Before we, uh, we follow that, let's continue uh, in a chordad di direction. The next vessel that we'll find immediately inferior to the entrance of the celiac axis here is the superior mesenteric artery and that can be seen arising nicely from the aorta right here. Um, immediately inferior to the uh, bifurcation or the, the, uh, this, the, this, the start of the uh, SMA, the uh, left renal vein can be seen arising from the inferior vena cava here and crossing between the SMA and the aorta, very nicely seen here, uh, on its way to the left kidney. It's to be noted that uh, there are several vessels arising from the anterior of the aorta in the abdomen, but there are no vessels arising from the anterior of the IVC. That's one of the ways these two vessels can be distinguished, with the exception, that is, of much further north, superiorly, um, where the hepatic veins drain into the IVC, as can be seen right here. So right now we're much, much further chordad, and we're seeing the vessels down here. Once again, there is actually a, 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 a view of the, the seagull sign right here. Um, the celiac, we've got the right plane now. And then, again, heading further uh, inferiorly, the superior mesenteric artery, surrounded by its characteristic rim of fat. And anterior to the superior uh, mesenteric artery, this vein here is characteristically present. It is the splenic vein uh, coming over from the spleen on the patient's left and heading to meet the superior mesenteric vein, which is right here. And the two of them form a confluence right under the arrow here forming the portal vein right here. So immediately superior to this, as we head north, the portal vein uh, is now uh, uh, technically the, the vessel. Um, and uh, anterior to the portal vein, uh, there are two structures. One is the common bile duct seen right here, very small, um, uh, right, uh, sorry, right, this is the common bile duct right over here. And this is the hepatic uh, artery proper heading north into the, into the liver, which, which heads up in this direction here. So we don't actually have a, a, a terribly characteristic looking Mickey Mouse sign, but here we are, the two ears of Mickey Mouse and the portal vein right here. Notice that the uh, portal vein is immediately anterior to the IVC, which is a characteristic location for it. Uh, and the portal uh, vein in this, in this patient uh, bifurcates almost immediately into the left and right portal, as can be seen right here. Uh, uh, again, uh, once these vessels are all identified, it's much easier uh, to not be confused about what is and what is not the gallbladder. This is actually the gallbladder over here. And when we dis discuss the gallbladder exam, we'll discuss how it's important to make sure that this is a structure that gets bigger, 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 smaller, 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 as can be seen here in real-time scanning. 
uh, as, as, the, uh, as this is a cystic structure, not a tubular structure. Um, and then proceeding south, uh, the uh, aorta can be seen here. And in, in this, the, in, characteristically right here in the mid epigastrium, transverse colon causes a bowel gas shadow. Uh, and usually it's most easy to find the vessels either above it or below the transverse colon. And once again, we pick up the aorta here. And again, p uh, pieces of bowel gas can be seen going anterior to the aorta, an obscuring view. So we find a good window and then scan within that window. As we head further south, uh, the, uh, the aorta becomes more and more superficial. Uh, we can actually adjust the depth here. And we'll see the aorta around the level of the uh, uh, umbilicus here bifurcating. And this is the bifurcation of the aorta right here. Uh, due to compression, uh, the IBC is almost invisible in this view now. Um, and again, posteriorly, we occasionally see but in the intervertebral this space, we can actually see through and see the, uh, the spinal canal right back here, which is uh, a view that uh, comes with the correct angle. So one final thing uh, that we, uh, we should just look at in the abdominal anatomy here uh, is going back further north again to the uh, superior mesenteric artery, uh, which once again we see right here, uh, and the splenic vein overlying it, which we see right here. Um, the organ that overlies that is the pancreas, very nicely seen here. Uh, usually not a primary focus in the uh, emergency evaluation, but, but uh, uh, it's a, a, a reliable structure to be seen, and, and it should not be confused with the liver that overlies it. And actually, in this, this case, we can just see the pancreatic duct here, very delicate uh, pair of white lines running across, again, parallel with the splenic uh, uh, vein right here, um, which, once again, if we head further north, is going to form the portal, ve the portal vein right here. Um, and once again, as we see Mickey Mouse, the Mickey Mouse sign. Uh, up here we see the falciform ligament in its characteristic location, uh, which comes down uh, anterior to the liver here, and then goes up characteristically through the liver to join with the left portal vein. Uh, the, res the, the residual uh, embryologic structure obviously was the uh, um umbilical uh, vein uh, stretching into the, the, the right portal vein here on its way through the liver. Um, and that really is, uh, completes our examination of the uh, vascular uh, structures of the abdomen.